Welcome to Ask Jesse. This week's question is actually written by a man. He writes, Hey, my wife turned me on to your blog a while ago and I had a question about something you wrote. But you shouldn't compliment a woman on her appearance. Is that really true? And if so, what do you recommend I compliment my wife on? She is amazingly beautiful, but I'd hate to think that she could ever be offended by me telling her so. Such a great question. Um, the big thing that I want to point out, it's not that you shouldn't ever compliment a woman on her appearance. Um, I don't know where, where you found that, but uh, I do say occasionally um, that that's not the only thing you should compliment a woman on because it's a missed opportunity. I think so often women are complimented and praised for looking good, like for looking pretty, for looking sexy, um, for being cute. So these are sort of like the only thing that we can consistently get praised for throughout the course of our life. And it's just superficial. It misses out on a huge amount of uh, compliments that exist. So it's not like never do it. It's offensive by any means. But a lot of times it's kind of a cop out. If you want to say something nice to a woman, the first thing we often think of because of the way that we're conditioned is like tell her how pretty she is. When in fact it can be so much more meaningful to tell her something completely unrelated to her appearance, um, which we'll talk about. But yeah, so don't feel like you should never, I mean, if the first thing, if your wife walks into the room and you're just like, God damn it, you are stunning, like, say that. Um, but also, I encourage you to round it out. You know, if this is somebody that you're complimenting often, make sure that that's not the, the dominant thing she hears from her from you, because that starts to feel like that's the dominant value she has to offer. And if you're talking to children or teenagers, even more so, I think it's even more important that we... Um, compliment and praise children and teenagers on things other than how they look. And if you can help it, maybe don't comment on a, a teenage girl's look ever or body ever. Just just to be safe because it's such a confusing time. There's so many conflicting messages um, and there's so much more to compliment her on. So again, it's not that it's offensive necessarily. If you do, it's just a missed opportunity and it, it does kind of toe a line sometimes where it can start to feel... Um, like you're reinforcing that the main thing that she offers of value to you is how she looks instead of who she is. So uh, the first thing I would say is to get more creative. If it's a missed opportunity, then just go with the truthful thing that you want to say. Um, because a lot of times you can come up with a way more unique compliment if you just really think about what it is you're feeling or what you're experiencing when you have the urge to compliment someone. Um, Sometimes that is appearance, but more often it's like, man, I really like being around you. Being around you feels great. Or, you know, I, I love how funny you are. Or, wow, you're so useful, you know, the way that you solve problems so quickly and easily. Um, or whatever it is. Whatever it is unique and truthful for you, um, I would say it's just a good practice to get into to challenge yourself to be more creative and unique in your compliments than just going for the sort of easy compliment it's like the giving someone flowers of compliments. Like, nobody's going to go, I don't like that. Um, but it, it just misses the opportunity to be more creative, more individual, more meaningful in the compliments that you give. The other thing is to let go of the mindset that your compliments are meant to convince a woman of something. Um, and instead to use them as an opportunity to share what you notice and like about us um, so that we can, we can see ourselves through your eyes. And this is a big thing, um, I think, for a lot of men and women, is a lot of men feel like compliments are intended to make the woman, like, know that she's beautiful, but I don't see it that way at all. I already know that I'm beautiful. I know that I'm awesome. So uh, having someone compliment those things about me has nothing to do with me going, oh, okay, now I can, now I think I'm beautiful or awesome. Um, instead, it's the good intentions, it's the, the loveliness of a person's attention on me for that moment that feels so good. And I already know I'm beautiful, but I don't necessarily know what you think of me in, in every moment, right? Probably I don't. Um, so if you're my boyfriend, then I want you to, to put into words what your experience of me is. So instead of trying to think like, compliment your wife on these things, Share more about the experience of being you around her so that it's, it's, it's an opportunity for her to see herself and really be seen by you. Know that you're looking at her 
that you're being there with her and what that experience is like for you. Because if it's a positive one, there are many, many, many ways you can communicate that. That would just be devastatingly, it would just feel so good um, that aren't, you look beautiful. There's another thing about that, which is that I think a lot of people feel the need to share their opinion as though, you know, like their approval is what we're kind of trying to share with our, with our compliments. Um, but it doesn't always have to be our opinion of someone. Sometimes you can t just describe your experience. Um, and like I said, when a woman has spent her entire life, a lot of times the, the only compliments that we get, or like the most frequent compliments we get, are on how we look. Like, wow, those are great shoes, and oh, you look so nice today. Um, those things are fine. But if someone just describes how it feels to be near you, it feels so much richer um, and it's about showing that woman or person, it's probably true for everyone, but showing that woman that, that she's being seen by you and that it feels good. So whatever that means, putting words to that, learning how to describe your experience, let her in on the experience of being near her um, is some of the best compliment advice I can give you. It helps her to know what you notice. Instead of just, yeah, you like her, you think she's pretty, um, you know, share Share what you notice. What little details do your eyes land on when you look at her body or her face? And what does it feel like? And what does it remind you of? These are things that are compliments, but really they're just rich, connective, um, you know, it's a shared intimacy with that person because you're inviting her into the experience of being you and what it's like for you and how that connects to her. Um, which ties into the, the last compliment advice I can give, which is to share impact. Um, instead of just your opinion. So instead of you're pretty, go with the way you look today makes me feel all tingly inside. So the first one is your decision. It's like your opinion, your judgment of the situation. And the second one is sharing the experience of being you near her. So you're sharing the impact instead of the opinion. And this is a really, really good one. I wish that everyone knew um, to give compliments in this way, but it's especially important when a man is complimenting a woman, I think, because it starts to break down the belief system for us, which of course is what I write about a lot, that, um, that our value is based on how we look. Because the messaging that we get throughout our lives is that the value we have to offer the world is based on how we look. And that is a, a big reason for that is because people are constantly sharing their opinions of us and how we look. So in order to compliment someone without sharing your opinion, you have to share impact. You have to share what it's like to be experiencing that. Instead of, while you're smart, you can share, you were so helpful with that problem I had the other day and it worked out really well and I'm really grateful that you took the time to share your gifts with me. I mean, that, that would be a fantastic compliment. Um, and if at the end of that, you know, you find yourself wanting to compliment her appearance, by all means. But I challenge you and all men who are watching this video, um, I challenge you to dig deeper and to not feel the need to give your opinion of her, but instead to share some of what that intimate experience is of being you around her, what that feels like, um, what, what it does for you, what it offers you. Like what does her being her provide for you? How does it make her life better? These are ways that you can put some words to um, to meaningful, meaningful compliments and just see what happens because everyone is different. And if you start doing this and she's like, honestly, I miss how often you told me I was pretty, then go right back to that because everyone's different and there's no right or wrong way to do it. Um, that having been said, thank you for being one of the men who is reading this kind of work and interested in how to empower your woman and you know respect her autonomy and make sure that you're not stepping on her toes or like thrusting society's you know message about her value on top of her so I appreciate that on behalf of all women um, and if you are a man watching this feel free to submit comments I love answering comments um, or questions from men um, and for everybody else, you can always submit a question for the Ask Jesse video series at jessiemelan.com slash contact slash.